Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Anna Breeze, spiritual well-being mentor and intuitive guide. So I wanted to talk a little bit today about the power of gratitude and how it can transform your life. Basically, um, emotions, positive emotions like uh, appreciation, gratitude, love, joy, bliss, all these states are um, what we desire as humans to experience more of, but also they are the frequencies that when we become more of that, we our lives just get better because we're in these frequencies of appreciation, gratitude, joy, bliss, all that stuff. And so what will happen is you'll start to attract things on an external level to match that inner frequency. So it's really important to be mindful of what we're transmitting on a day-to-day -day basis, so or moment-to-moment -moment basis even. So it's like, because every moment you're broadcasting something. So you're broadcasting some kind of message to the universe and the law of attraction is responding to these uh, frequencies that you're emanating out. So you want to make sure that you're, you're being in high frequency as much as possible and the highest frequencies are those of joy, love, gratitude, peace, well-being, bliss, love, light, isness, that kind of thing. So um, I just wanted to share a little bit because I know that for a lot of people, um, and, and I know that I struggled with, with this for years as well, was this feeling of, of gratitude. And for a long time, um, you know, I was reading books that were saying, feel grateful, you know, feel gratitude. And it was something that I, I just couldn't really get into. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't feel it, you know. And because I couldn't feel it, it was like, um, even although I was grateful, but I just couldn't really feel the emotion of gratitude, you know. Um, so what's kind of um, come to me recently is just this switch over of gratitude to appreciation. Um, so if you can't feel gratitude, that's what I'm saying, if, if you can't feel gratitude, choose appreciation instead, because you can look for things to appreciate in your day-to-day -day life. There's always something to appreciate. So even if someone buys you a cup of tea or makes lunch for you, you know, you can, you can kind of be appreciative of that. It doesn't have to be a feeling, but it's almost like what, what I'm trying to get at is that I think that it's easier to feel appreciation than it is to feel gratitude. Um, it, this might not resonate with you, but it was just to give you a little tip on that if you're, if you're kind of struggling with gratitude, <laughs> which I was for many years, even although I was grateful, but I just couldn't really feel it, you know? So it's like, and, and it's the feelings that are create the, the vibrational output for what you're gonna attract. So it's important to kind of um, get into the feeling state as well, you know, rather than just being a mental concept. So instead of gratitude, go for appreciation instead and you know just look at what what you really appreciate you know it's like if someone does something for you you can really appreciate that and also being able to acknowledge uh these appreciations as well so to be able to say to someone you know rather than just oh thanks thank you thanks but to be able to say hey you know i really appreciate what you did for me there you know it helped me because it meant that i didn't have to do deal with such and such today and I just really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to, to do that for me because the other thing I wanted to talk about was our attention and the power of attention so what we give our attention to expands we, we, we're always adding energy so what we focus on expands and this was a phrase that basically changed my life years ago was just that that simple phrase of what you give your attention to expands because I realized that as long as I was in depression or negativity or lack based thinking then that's what I was going to keep getting basically because you again what you give your attention to adds energy to that so you don't want to be adding energy to negative thoughts or frequencies or vibration because you know you you just end up attracting that on an external level so it's all about changing your state of being first 
and then things will start to improve externally. So the power of appreciation and the power of your focus are instrumental in uh, raising your frequency and changing your life basically and attracting the things that you do want. So instead of focusing on negative thoughts, you're, 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 you're changing your focus over to, you know, what, what would be, um, what would be desirable or what, what it is that you, you are wanting to create, what you're passionate about, you know, what you're inspired about. So your inspirations are going to lift your frequency and your energy as well. So attention is one of the most valuable things that we can possibly have when you meet someone in the street and you give them your attention, you know, um, for five minutes or a, a few minutes and just smile and, and be with that person 100%. That's your attention because we can only ever really truly focus on one thing at a time, you know, so, um, so be, be um, discriminating, discriminating about what you do with your attention because what you give your attention to, you will create more of in your life. Okay, so I just wanted to share that and um, I hope it was helpful and please leave your comments and um, give me some feedback if this resonated for you at all. So thank you very much for watching and I'm sending you love and light. Have a good day. Bye.